Is it me or is it getting dark? It is getting slightly dark. Oh, what's that purple thing? Ooh. Materia? Equipment? Equipment. Sleek blade. Wait, isn't this the... I'm pretty sure that's the... The weapon that was in the shop. Firebolt blade. Imbue your sword with fire and lightning while slicing a foe. Can use while airborne. What? All right. Actually, let's check out. Uh... Okay. Cutscene time. No sign of Shinra. Yeah. It looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then, head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Juna. Sure. Why not? You drunk. Anthony rating with our party of six. What up, homie? You're... I mean, we could. Let's not. We are playing this game early. This swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even I was, uh... if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. Uh-oh. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word, and he'll pick you out. I'm trying to talk, but, uh... Word. <laughs> well... Can we rent some birds? Can we? <laughs> it, it, they, oh, okay, hold up. I paid for the game. All right? I paid for the game. All right? I just I I may have you know, I may I may I may be from New Zealand for, you know, the time being, okay? You know, I'm on vacation, right? Why can't I be in another country on vacation? Does that so just so happens to have the game earlier than normal? By the way, thank you again for the uh, for the read. It was pretty. Uh, how was your how was your stream, homie? I saw you got a uh, pretty pretty far in. Um, In Resident Evil 2, you enjoying the game? Oh? Oh my god, the combat in this game! Actually, let's assess this dude. I want to see what's his weaknesses. Weak to fire? Bet. Bruh. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. If I wasn't uh if I <laughs> if I wasn't focused on this, I'd uh I'd I'd be on your stream helping you out. I just peeped over every once in a while, saw you were doing things. I was like, okay, he's he's got it under control for the most part. Let's hit Orc C with that real quick. Go back over to Cloud. Hit him with the Firebolt Blade! Uh, I missed my attack completely, but uh, the point of the thing is just to use the attack so we can unlock it. Aerith can do her thing. Oh, there he is. Merc. <laughs> uh, 
that's literally any RE game that's not Resident Evil 4 or 5. Or 6. Literally, that, that's all the old RE games. My god. This game is beautiful, dude. This is... So far, it's everything I've... I've wanted. This, honestly, the gameplay is reminding me of 16, which also reminds me I need to, f <laughs> I need to finish 16. I think I got like a third of the way through the game, if that. Oh my God, we're just destroying these dudes. Hit him with that fire bolt blade. It's crazy that the other party members that are not in your actual battle party are just attacking. Yo, Red 13 is crazy. My goodness. What the hell is this? Toxic rat? Toxic rat? Oh my god, Cloud, jeez. Oh my, can we hit him with the air combo? Oh no, he, he, he's, he's permanently underground. Bro, Cloud is able to knock enemies into the air so easy and just keep them juggling in the air. It's like showing them off to Final Fantasy Airlines. We're, we're providing passports to all these enemies. <laughs> That's why he's broken in Smash. Yeah, isn't he like... Oh, he In Smash 4, he was like the second best character in the game. God, look at this. Look at how crazy this dude is. This is probably going to be in the in the in the smash update. God, free. It's on you. Ready when you Oh my goodness. And we're we're just destroying these enemies too. Material level up for for t she's not even in the party. She's getting they're getting AP? Yo, this game is godlike. <laughs> Mimit said I hate him. <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I was there for that stream. I I I understand. I was there. Yeah. I uh don't worry, bro. I've been I've been there before, where right? I just keep getting uh dogged. Ooh. Pleasure to see you all again, and welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed, I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic fairies to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies. You're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh... Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo. 
Nature's two-legged limousine. So, can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. My man's over yonder. Dude. Yo, they remixed this song. All right, so they definitely changed this up. So clearly in the original, as you saw my playthrough on uh, Divine Hero Angel <clears throat> YouTube channel, uh, we would have to go catch our own chocobo because apparently uh, all the chocobos were uh, rented out. It does not seem to be the case in this game. So uh, before we... I'm not even going to read that. Pinion? What the what? Pinion? Oh, increase his speed by 10. Oh, hold up. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah, I, I I know you learned your lesson from facing Cloud before. You can't you can't let him uh let him know your next move. I get it. Damn, I can't break those uh those boxes. Yeah, we're gonna be uh let's rob this old man blind before we uh go check out the uh the stables. Oh, nice plants you got here. Oh, we got some items. Oh, hold up. What can we buy? A cushion? Sure. 100 gil. I ready? <sighs> Whatever. I literally bought one before for 500. What a waste. I would have known that. Okay. I do have extra space for Cloud. Maybe I can give him uh, another materia. Oh. Oh, we definitely want this. Hell yeah. Listen, uh, I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that, but, uh, hey, <laughs> you could always practice. Oh, so when are you, when are you wearing your, uh, your clown outfit? I mean that was the that was the bet, right? Oh, can we unlock any new skills? Oh, we can maybe? Question mark. Hmm. Oh, this looks sick. I wanna get this first. Bro, we all get skill trees on top of doing whatever it else. Oh, okay. Jet stream. Oh, we all get these abilities. Oh, that's actually pretty sick. Okay. We're all... Okay. Fiery impulse. Electric impulse. Guaranteed hit. Uh, let's do... Let's do electric. Why not? I already have fire on somebody else. An icy Fertifa. It's so weird because it's showing 
Barrett instead of Tifa, but I'm assuming multiple people will learn the same skills. Okay. Heal up real quick. Don't run over the bench. Sit on it, please. Oh wait, didn't we just didn't we already heal ourselves up? I'm stupid. All right, I also want to save. It'd be a tragedy if something happens. I've been playing this game for what? Almost four hours. Literally the first three hours is just straight like story. You're what up homies? these fluffy boys Howdy It's on the sign Need some chocobos to cross the swamp Now I'm sorry pops but you're out of luck Pops Got no more birds Last one went this morning Could have fooled me kid These are spoken for That or they're not fit for riding but I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. Whoa! The thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Is what a scoundrel might say, but I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by Bruh. looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made them. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kids are born businessmen. <laughs> Y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here. Riding and rearing lessons are on me. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Man, my voice went for a sec. Hey, yo, let's uh, let's let's rob you blind real quick before uh, even talking to the, the shop lady. Timeless rod. Hey, he, yo. Okay, Aerith still needs to level up her uh, her guard stick ability. But what she get from this? Chrono Aegis? Razor barrier that damages and temporarily freezes enemies who attempt to strike you. Okay. Huh. Wait, strike an enemy and inflict stop? Okay. Okay, so the purple, the purple chests have weapons. Good to know. Another mobile metal. Damn, we we made a mess. Not my problem. Not my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose. But he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <gasps> Say, are you guys from Midgard? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Wall. Um, 
Why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Damn. That's none of these good folks' business. But they get help. And don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh, take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Golden plumes? What? Bruh, there's so much customization in this game. Okay. I, okay. I have zero plumes. No, what is this supposed to do? Is this just cosmetic? Hmm, whatever. Madroom. Okay, so they, they just sell, um... I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. Just sells, uh, what's it called? Materials. Okay. All right, Pico. Where'd you run off to? You mean Pico? Let's go looking for some trash. Hmm. Alright, so let's just run towards, uh... Can we hop the fence? Can we hop the fence? God damn it, we can't hop the fence. What the fuck? You can't hop a fence, but you can hop- What? God damn it! All right, that got me kind of mad. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, okay, we found the tracks. Okay. Oh, man's went this way. Do. Dude, this is so sick. Oh shit! Something ruffled his feathers. Stop screaming. Oh, that's the homie right there. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, approach Pico. Roll out of sight. L1 to aim square to throw. How do I just crouch? I I can't okay All right, that worked. Um Can I just walk behind him? All right, cool. That works. I'm all right. We're, we're chilling. All right, these are like the most unaware ass big birds I've ever seen in my life. Okay, never mind. My man's turned while I was talking shit, of course. Okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna speed run it. Yeah. Look at that. My man my man Pico. My, 
I making noise? Yeah, we got him, bitch. Chill out. Chill out, buddy. Two golden plumes. Okay. Oh, isn't he just the cutest? <laughs> Bruh. You know, they are kind of similar, totally. <laughs> what does he want now? Do you think maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. Whoa. To the ranch it is then. Come on. Okay. Are we able to catch these other ones? Hey there, buddy. Can I hop onto you? No? Okay. Alright, so I guess that's the only one I was able to like hop on or whatever. Pause. Alright, fuck it. Let's go. Okay. All right, we're making pro- Bro, they're still in calm! You would think after all this time... They would have, uh, figured something out, but apparently not. Try till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea if we ask him nice. Ain't that right? I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? Okay. It's the homie Chadley! What a pleasant surprise! You. Do remember me, don't you? Bro, of course. I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. Damn. But to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. Look at this man. If we find him, we'll turn him on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. And this will activate it. 
<laughs> the Chad module, bruh. Towers close by. Allow me to accompany you. Damn, bro, that module's alpha as fuck. I didn't even notice this thing. Okay. My man Chadley made a reappearance. This man's Chad GPT's older brother. of fiends and natural resources what he shot what after careful consideration i have devised a new name for this type of research i call it world intel yeah it kind of rolls off the tongue huh chadley will employ data to collect develop New materia. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? Huh, uh... Uh, sure. Intel-related task. I want to know more about that. Which particular task would you like to learn about? Everything? What the fuck? I don't know any- what? Simply put, life springs are formed when the life stream breaches the planet's surface. To Shinra, the volume of Mako that can be extracted from these springs is insignificant, certainly not worth the expense. But to us, they are a veritable font of knowledge. In order to tap these precious reserves, however, you will first need to find them. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. Um, combat assignments? While it is normal for creatures to adapt to their environment, sometimes these adaptations make them a threat. I would like you to track down and eliminate these creatures and amass data on them in the process. Are these like if special you still monsters? Have questions about world intel, please ask away. Crystal analysis, sure. We're gonna go down the list. In remote areas, fragments of planetary wisdom have coalesced into crystalline forms. Though the knowledge contained within them is vast and varied, one subject is of particular interest to me, that of summons. Ooh. If you would analyze the crystals in my stead, thus extracting said knowledge from them, I can use it to enhance our materia. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. All right, the last one. Proto relic salvaging? Ah, yes. I was hoping you would ask. I detected some strange energy signals earlier. My current theory is that they emanate from the remnants of ancient artifacts. But until we investigate, there's simply no telling what the sources might be. And since we have yet to identify them, I have taken the liberty of naming these objects Proto relics. <laughs> A rather endearing name, if I may say so. At any rate, I would be grateful if you could investigate said curiosities and ultimately recover them for study. If you still have questions about world intel, please ask away. All right, I think we're good here. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? I think everything else is just straightforward. I've played other, uh, you know, open world games. In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? Word? F what do you mean fire and ice? It casts both? Oh no, it just it just allows me to use both. What? Yo, this is so sick. 
10 data points? How many data points do we have? 20? What? Auto unique ability materia. What? Bro, this is so good. Okay, so honestly, I think we want to get two of these. Not enough points. Oh, they're worth 20. Damn. Oh, every time you buy one, you get, um... Okay, I see. Oh, we're definitely doing these Chadley missions. The in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. My man got a Roomba with him? And we got some... Oh... Bro, they have a version. Oh, we get to get. All right, hold up. I've been, I've been, uh, I've been holding in my. Uh... Anyway, I, I gotta, I gotta go use the, the little boys' room. Don't worry, it's number one. Okay, I'm assuming we get more of these uh, battle points or whatever if we do uh, do these battles and stuff. Cloud. I have recreated Titan the mythical colossus of the grasslands in virtual space. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. Nice. Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here, you just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a-running. Word? Yo! So, who here's never been on Chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. Dude, I'm so hype. This game. Okay. Oh, Chadley's over here. Okay, Chadley's, Chadley's over here with his Roomba. No, but that's good, bro. I'm, I'm happy. Um, I'm happy that's working out for you. Work for me, honestly, it's uh, it's looking pretty bad. So Here's I'm where we get our birds in shape for the races. hoping something else works out for me. The gold saucers, I mean, they're a big deal in our community. Gold saucers. Find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. See so you guys race too. We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't okay. you try hopping on Biko and giving me a holler? Mm, or want to call the homie? Wark, wark, homie. What? <laughs> Your back is getting sturdy. That sounds, uh... Might have to check in with Paige on that one. This way. Oh, speak to him while on the chocobo. Oh, okay. I see the, uh... Okay. But how's about we stretch his legs a bit? Stretch his legs. Use training grounds. Okay. Now nah, I don't want to do all this shit. I'll be here when you're ready. Can we just do our own thing? I, I want to do my own thing. God damn it! I have to do this. Y'all ready to run? Sure. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, shit. Yep. Okay. So I made a mistake in running into the pole. All right. Concentration. Mm -hmm. 
damn, that one mess up. Okay. If I would have, like, not ran into that pole. That was something else. You and Pico are a perfect match. Might even have what it takes to win a race or two at the Gold Saucer. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then yeah. you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Word. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since Mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. <laughs> We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. Okay, odd jobs. AKA side quests. Oh, and we get community boards too? We get to fast travel finally. Oh, this game has it all. 